So this is the Firehouse of God uh, Museum here. That's what this is. And you can see what it looks like here. It's uh, I was told that this building here was the old Rock Falls Police Station many years ago that we're in. And this is His Eminence Archbishop Gene the Jewel that just walked by. So uh, you can see here what these old fire engines look like. And I'll tell you what, uh, I, I've never been a fireman, but I know that these things get washed significantly because that's the main job, I would think, of the firemen is to wash the fire engine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they get, nice. they've probably been washed thousands of times. I, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the fire engine has to be ready to go when it's there's a fire. It's, uh, it's uh, old, but it's, um, it runs. We do take it out on tours. And, oh, boy. Uh, the pink one? one? This yeah, one. This was like uh, totally restored in uh, 1974, I believe it was. Um, so, oh, this, this is a, I think it's a, what is it, 20, 20 effort. <laughs> I forgot what the age of it is, but uh, it's in the, it's in the, back in, back in the early days. Yeah, an early and day fire engine. It's what it looked like. This is what the building looked like when we, when we got it. Uh, roof was caved in. There'd been a fire back here. Um, and it was covered with moss, thick moss. Like I said, roof all caved in. It had been raining inside for years. There'd been a fire back here in the corner in a truck. And um, so a lot of charcoal and a lot of uh, greenery, a lot of mold, a lot of mold. So we got it... Uh, at a very reasonable yeah. price to to and, and this is what I remember it being like because I've lived here for 40 some years but they uh, uh that's an old police station and firehouse this this was um basically <clears throat> about 19 in the 18 and the 1800s it was a Keystone hose company and I got back a, a reel back here that is in the from the 1800s in the original factory and they built um, ho you know, made hoses here, but they uh, have, um, they, uh, somewhere in that area, they switched over, finally, R Rock Falls first fire department was in the, in the, uh, early 1900s, and this was a whole complex right here, everything was here in this one building, at one time there was a jail in the complex, there was a jail, there was a, the firehouse, there was the the hose maker, there was the, the town hall, uh, police and fire department both shared the same building, even the same uniforms <laughs> back in there in those days. So probably, we made a lot of changes. We probably we, did a lot of the same jobs too. Yeah, we did a lot of this stuff with with uh, the grandkids and the family members and <laughs> tore the, the sides out of it. That's Pastor Brian up there on the side of the wall and the ladder uh, getting stuff down but eventually uh, we cleaned it all out and a couple of grandkids and two, huh? <laughs> I won't show you that too many all it just shows inside and all the goodies Who's here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, I was just giving a little tour here. Yeah. Yeah. Am I enjoying the tour? Okay. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, people come by here at various uh, times and places. And, uh, but it was it was all charred, burned, and yeah, look at this roof all bowed in and all black from the fire. Yeah. 
and uh, basically uh, loads and loads of stuff were got hauled to the dump. You can believe we even took all the nail at nails that were uh, driven into into the boards and the boards we could save and make something out of. So we saved all that stuff and. <laughs> And there it became, started becoming, uh, looking like a real building at that point in time. Are you getting a lot of reflections here? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, there we, there we go. But. Looks like you got the fire engines there. Yep, yeah, got some of the eye engines and things sitting along the side. And that's about it in that book. But over in the wall yeah. over here, we do have a timeline of the whole thing. Oh boy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. So eventually they it was it was like a long string of buildings here uh, together and all connected and so forth. This is interesting. Oh, I've got part of the original uh, pole that the firemen slid down on as there was a second story. Oh boy there was a second story one point in time so oh boy that's interesting people come no in all the time donating things someone brought this in about two hours ago when i was in here and said i would like to donate they found this in our basement it's been there for 20 years <laughs> oh boy and we'd like to donate it to you so one more piece of equipment for the for the museum for the here museum here oh boy so you're hoping to have this be like a a larger museum i guess well, we're going to have uh, more space and a little more efficient. We've gotten rid of some of the old, old trucks that are you know, totally crusted apart. And oh, boy. Yeah, I saw there's a truck over there in, in front that, uh, yeah. yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And looks like a, there's a bell here. And uh, looks like there's some Rock Falls 125th. Uh, anniversary memorabilia even from when yep, some, Rock Falls had its 125th anniversary and there. Yep, pretty nice stuff here and so we're going to walk along here and see some of the other parts of this and I don't know how and, much uh, you know of or anything of Pink Heels Pink, Pink Heels uh, is Leslie was, was a lady firefighter and uh, also a, a policeman and uh, out west, I believe it's come from like uh, Arizona and uh, a fella started this organization and made this truck up to to show uh, uh, show off and, and uh, show, show what could be done in helping oh, cancer boy. victims and now the cancer victims can sign the truck and the truck will take them everywhere with them. Oh boy, that's, that's amazing to see some of these old trucks here, and and I know these aren't too old. These are these are kind of looks like newer newer uh, vehicles they, even. They got the newer paint on for sure in the pink. Yeah, and there's his eminence right there. And you take these out then? On all, or they just come yeah, on the road? out on the road. Uh, it's the pink heels trucks all go out on the road. Uh, within a, probably about a 50 mile radius. It's like uh, the Pink Hills of the South Valley um, is, a, is the official name of them. And my son-in-law and daughter uh, take the trucks out and uh, as well as some others sometimes go along and uh, they take gifts to the, to the cancer, you know, people that have had cancer and uh, people that are struggling and people have passed away, people come in and want their name, somebody whose deceased name on the truck to take with them. If you, if you slide under this truck, under the trucks, there's even names under there. Oh, boy. Uh, and inside the wheel wells. And, oh, boy. <laughs> names on the wheel wells. <laughs> These are all uh, donation things that people have found. Like, there, there's one of the uniforms a elderly lady brought in for it was her husband, but it says Rock Falls Fire and yeah. Police. All in the same, wear the same uniform at that time. That dates way back. Yeah. And all the hats, different kinds of hats they wore, and all the equipment. 
this is interesting. All donations here. you didn't buy any of stuff. So if you live in, if you live in the city of Rock Falls, this is this is pretty awesome here. You get to see these old badges and stuff and people come from <laughs> you get to see these old uniforms here from City of Rock Falls. I'll tell you what, substitute teachers, we don't get a uniform. So, <laughs> sad but true. But uh, there's another, another, uh, this is a four by four, it looks like old, old uh, fire vehicle. So yeah, you got some pictures here of the Rock Falls Fire Department yeah. from the early, this is eminence right there, from the early 1900s. And uh, you can see what it's like here. Some old, old photos. And then you got what it was like here and 1930s to 40s some old photos here of that that's the one they have the complex of buildings in line there that's, you can see with a two-story yeah. and then you see from the uh, 1950s 50s to 60s it's 1950s to 60s right there A lot of people yeah. that come in here and find that there's pictures of their grandfathers or great grandfathers or even fathers. And this is 1970s to today. So you can see what it's like here in the 70s up until today. <laughs> so, yeah, some old, old fires and old fire photos. Yeah, but if you got a fire, then it's important to have firemen to take care of it. And when you have volunteer firemen, it's just not the same thing. Because, you know, you, you have to have people that are ready to take the call. And and uh, your volunteer firemen, they, they might be able to do something. But you have to remember, they have families too, and they don't get paid, so... Oh, it's just a whole nother story when it's like that. They go into it, ready to give their lives. Yeah, yeah. My mother told a story recently of a guy that was a this fireman. Little, this, little, this little pot, it says 777 on it. No idea. Let's yeah. to look at that and see. <laughs> but my mother told a story of a firefighter that he went in and there was a little boy trapped inside and the little boy was yelling for help and the firemen couldn't get to him. And then after that, it, I guess the firemen, according to my mother there, uh, had problems for the rest of his life because, you know, the little boy was crying for help and, and, and the firemen couldn't get to him in time. <laughs> Sometimes those things happen too, and when, when you're a fireman, you you know you you can't go in because if you do, you you'll both die. You know. So yeah, there's a stretcher right there behind his eminence. This is his eminence, Archbishop Gene Jewel. There's a stretcher there too. So yeah. Gotcha. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yep. Yeah, you got it. So, yeah, this is, this is, looks like a little tool area here, but uh, there's some more pink heels here. You know why they had Dalmatians? Why they used Dalmatians? Well, this is that. This is that. Ah, this is that. Because the colors, maybe? Noticed, they found out that the Dalmatian dog is the only animal that, that could calm a horse at a fire. 
If the Dalmatians were with them, oh boy. Maybe they would be as quiet as nice and nice. But when they went out on horses and there was a fire, horses would go nuts. But the Dalmatians were there, they just were quiet every time. So that's why they adopted the Dalmatian as a uh, kind of a mascot or kind of whatever. This is an old original fire desk. Oh, this was the old Rock Falls fire desk? Was it the desk when this place was here? I believe it was. Oh boy, this was the old old Rock Falls fire desk. So if you were a fireman, then this is maybe a place where you sat at if you were... It didn't exactly look like it. covered with pink rock. Yeah. Oh, the pink tanks, but... Yeah, that might be where you sat there. There's his eminence right there looking at the Rock Falls oh. fire desk. Yeah. So, you know, you maybe looked out these windows here, and uh, if you were a fireman and, and uh, kind of ready to give your life whenever there was a call and, and just sat there at that Rock Falls fire desk and, and uh, really were able to enjoy the day there. And so, uh, we but, have stuff uh, coming and going all the time with people doing things. And this, this is a real I was telling you about that was the, uh, from the Keystone Hose Company. 1884. Which which reel? That's that big. Oh, the reel. big reel in the back there. Yep. 1884. Guys pull that down the street or else horses. <laughs> and were those were those you say those were made here? Yes. Oh boy. So he's talking about that reel there in the very back. 1884. 1884. So yep. That's interesting that it's still here even. But uh, Who have, uh, fire truck? so yeah, this is yeah. this is more here on this, more here on the fire fire items here. You can see, I know we've probably gone through this before, but I'm just going to go through it again. You can see what a lot of this stuff is like. Nice, nice small fire museum here. found a fire extinguisher in here. I used to sell, believe it or not, when I was in oh grade boy. school. When you I were sold, in grade school. I, was, I sold fire extinguishers. Um, it's like these Presto. Oh, there's the Merlite fire alarms. I used to sell those and sell the these long ones here. Oh boy. The little, they, they put in the fire, you know. Not a big one. <laughs> it didn't last too long. Oh boy. I always found these globe ones here that look like a light bulb. Yeah. They put put somewhere where if it gets hot, they would op open up and I'd dump all that stuff out and that would put the fire out, but it's like carbon tetrachloride, which is banned, you know, it's it's something you can't have around anymore. I used to have my hands dumped in that stuff, cleaning and stuff and It's, it's interesting here. I'm I'm just kind of looking around here and. Uh, oh boy. So this is I think this looks like Rock Falls right here. This, yeah, yeah, Rock Falls. And then you got your fire engines here. This is, I know that I had a, a great grandfather that was a, a union leader there, an international harvester. It was farm hall at the time, but uh, then it later became international harvester. So these are, some of these are international harvester fire engines. And uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing here to see, pretty amazing to see. And uh, something you can really enjoy. 
that it looks like there's some some uh, you know old oxygen tanks and stuff and and uh, you know, some of the stuff here you can see the old Rock Falls uh, fire coat here. Oh, this is what what it used to be like, I guess, back in the day here, minus my shirt. So, yeah. And you can kind of get some ideas here. I know this building, you know, I don't live too far away from here. So, and I've lived around this area for over 40 years. So I've, you know, been driven, have driven by this building like for over 40 years and you know, just like the pictures in the book, it was like that years ago. And, uh, and so you can even see some of the names here in the fire truck. You know, you can see what, what it's like here is names, I guess, even under the wheel wells and some of this. And uh, we're gonna go around here and we're going to kind of see what this is like. This is almost like what, what a firehouse would be like it look like this and uh, where you have your fire trucks just sitting standby ready so that whenever you you know have a fire you can quickly go out and take care of it here and and uh, so this is like I say just like what you would you would expect here oh his eminence there is is wearing the hat here let me get let me get a picture of that here. Yeah, turn around so the light is coming in the yep. window on and maybe yep. it'll be the better picture. Oh, I can, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, I can turn around here even and take it the other way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We. Oh, unless you want to put it on again. You want to put it on again? Again? Yeah. That way the light will be coming in on your face. Yeah, right so here. this is... There's the fire hat here with his eminence, Archbishop Dana Jewel. So, yep. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't have any hair, so that's safe to put that on. Yep. Yep. And there's some old chairs. We got a, a old chair like that at home. Uh, this is a. Uh, yep. This are pink heels. Yeah. Oh, pink heels. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's Iowa. Right. Iowa, chapter. Iowa chapter. Yeah. Yep. And, chapters all across the country. and you can see this is the iconic fireman looking out the window that you see as you walk by here. Uh, and I know that I've driven by here many times. There's your, your oxygen tank, uh, uh, oxygen tank and whatnot. These are the old, the old fire, yeah, fire like trucks here. It looks like seventies. And some of this I think might be a little bit earlier even. Yeah. So you can see what some of this is like here. Kind of interesting. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and this is, looks like a, a boat, boat motor. And there's, there's some old, old toy toy fire trucks here even it's kind of like a little little area where you got all this stuff yeah you can see some of these old buildings here yeah fire trucks fire trucks police police vehicles all kinds of different police vehicles so that's what it looks like. Some of that's New York Police Department. But, uh, and it gives you different years here too on some of this. It tells you different years for these, these fire trucks. Uh, 1926, I think, is, is what the fire truck is here that, that you see, you saw earlier. There's the, there's the, uh, you know, fire suits and all kinds of stuff here. All kinds of stuff here. Very interesting to see. You know, City of Rock Falls, there's even a little statue here uh, presented to 
Gregory Logan, the man who always has his horse ready, Rock Falls Fire Department. And uh, there's even a little plaque here. A little plaque here. So there's your plaque here. Yeah, and then this is the back of the fire truck, the 1920s fire truck here. Pretty amazing. So I'm gonna walk by here and we're gonna take a look at this last section here that we haven't seen yet. Okay. That's where it gets tight. Yeah, a little bit tight in here, but this is the old old fire extinguishers here. Yeah. Uh, this is what you'd have in stores and whatnot. And then you'd have these uh, old these fire trucks here. Yeah, and uh, pretty amazing. We got these fire boots here. You can tell on these fire extinguishers that they were different designs. And uh, it looks like there's a hoist here, if I'm not mistaken, some sort of, uh, or I think that's that's a. Yeah, let's we'll just call it a hoist. There's a, another term here at Rock Falls, fire jackets. And uh, you can see what this looks like here. It's kind of like a little little museum here for Rock Falls history. And uh, yeah. So yeah, this is it's what it is what it's like when you live in Rock Falls. So anyway, and now the, the inside of the fire truck is being shown. So we're going to, so this would be cool inside if, and this is your, your fire hose right there. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, some women, a bunch of women bought them, and they make wallets out of them, out of the material. Oh, I can't even, a, can't even get in there. I'm close to go 400 pounds. So his eminence is climbing in here, and he's going to take video here. Yeah. So his eminence is actually has the phone now, and he's taking these showing you here what this is like. Yep, and uh, pretty amazing. And then uh, you can see here, so I weigh close to 400 pounds. There's names even on the inside door here. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. I got a school bus RV, and it looks a little bit like that for the <laughs> instrument panel here. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can see his eminence behind the wheel here. Yeah. A little bit scary sight here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's got his little shifter here. Yep, yeah. yeah, because when you thank you when yes, you're sir. when this you're has, this, this has like a generator on the roof, so they can generate AC power. So it's we have AC power in the unit, and that's how we were able to put a couple of those air conditioners in there. Oh, it boy. got hot before that. It was hot in a truck, but with the air conditioning, it's uh, comfortable. Yeah, you could imagine driving this down the road, maybe taking this on a camping trip, but but really, I mean, that's not what it was designed for. Yeah. <laughs> got to find a good parking place. <laughs> oh, so that's that's what it is right there. This is this is the front of it right here. Let me zoom out here. That's the front of it. Yes, yeah. So that's that's basically all three all three fire engines. We've got, uh, we also have a a, a pink heels car. Yeah. Uh, which they've got out right now. Uh,
So anyway, God bless and bye for now.